Okay, let's all join together for a quick moment, follow my lead, and put our hands on our heads. Now touch your nose, and look to the person next to you and make a silly face. <laughs> Congratulations! You have just experienced a day in my life and what it feels like being bossed around by a toddler. I started my parenting journey May 4th, 2021. I had just given birth to a little girl, and I'm finally resting in the hospital bed. So my partner, Matt, he looks at me and goes, babe, what do you want to eat anything? I'll have it delivered. I wanted pizza, but pizza from my favorite restaurant. A little while later, it finally comes. Matt's holding this pizza box, and his eyes are glowing, knowing mama's about to eat. He walks over, leans in, and goes, ready, babe? One, two, three. He slowly opens the pizza box. We both look down. It's frozen. <laughs> A frozen, uncooked pizza. <laughs> yeah, that glow in his eyes quickly turned to sheer panic. He looks over at me, and I start sobbing. <sighs> The poor man. He's just trying to do his best. But instead, the moment he opened that pizza box, a feeling of disappointment hit. But it's not because the pizza was frozen. Because suddenly in that moment, I realize my life will never look the same. The room starts spinning. I feel this weight wash over me, and I have this pit in my stomach. I just can't shake. I'm not meant to be a mom. We've all heard of the term, it takes a village. But what nobody warned me about was the struggle with self-identity and self-doubt. Everything changes when we become parents. Our routines, our bodies, relationships, and careers, yet we're just supposed to jump in with two feet, act like Nothing's changed, we just have another little human tagging along, like, no big deal. But I felt like the existence of me vanished because I no longer felt like Maya anymore. About a year later, I remember looking over at my daughter. She's sitting there on the floor, playing with a bunch of salad bowls, putting them on her head and giggling. And I remember thinking, when did I stop playing? When did life become so serious? And when did I start feeling like I wasn't enough? And the truth is, it was way before I became a mom. I have evolved more in the last three years than the previous 10, all because I started believing in myself and having fun again. I signed up for courses I didn't feel smart enough to take. I started my own business. I even tried horseback riding lessons for the first time in my life, in my 30s. The existence of me never vanished when I became a mom. It vanished when I stopped believing in myself. So when did you realize that you stopped believing in yourself? Was it when you didn't apply for the job you really, really wanted, but thought, I'm not gonna get the interview anyway? Or when you asked a question and someone made you feel stupid? Maybe you wanted to sign up at the gym again, but backed out because you were too worried about other people looking at you. I was playing the question game with my daughter the other day. She's three, by the way. I look at her and I said, Luna, where did you come from? And she goes, um, the dollar store. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if we need to talk about self-worth or if I go to the dollar store too much. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna ask you where you came from. We all know how babies are made. But what I do wanna know is where are you headed? And are you brave enough to make that silly face and believe in yourself along the way. Thank you.
speech can change your life, unleash your power. 